Hi there, Justin from sharepickers.com. I'm going to uh, do a little video on Pro Real Time, which is described as the best online charting software around. You have to download a bit of software to your computer to launch it. I've already done that, so I won't do that. But what I will do is uh, go to the website. So as you can see down here, I've already um, you know, downloaded that software. I'll click there, and straight away it launches a tab, and it comes to this page. Now you need to click here, launch your platform. There are two versions of this, complete and premium. Complete is end of day prices, it's free. And so if you are looking, you know, say midday and it's a trading day, then you will not get the real time price there and then on the chart, only at end of day close. If you want real time, you have to pay for it on premium. So let's launch uh, your platform, hit the button here. And there's lots of videos there. You can go to videos if this video isn't uh, you know, sufficient enough. And like, I'm quite basic here. I've, only, I've been using this about six months and I'm getting to grips with it. And I really like it. Uh, and a lot of professionals use this uh, you know, software. So I click launch platform. And it takes a while to launch. And there's so many things. It's so in-depth, this software. You can look at uh, stocks overbought, oversold. It's got a lot of preset filters you can just load up. Uh, you can look at uh, moving averages crossing over. You can put uh, trend lines in there, support lines in there for you. And so it does a lot of the hard work, the heavy lifting for you. Um, but like I said, at the moment, all I need is the actual free version of this. So there we are. It's launching now. And it'll come to the main screen. Now, I've taken off most of the presets. So all I've got there is a chart and that you can see what this is stand so standard charted that's what it is all right now let's get rid of uh, let's let's say um let's get rid of the screen let's say you have nothing at all on the screen so i'm just going to start there and all i've got is this top bar to search for a stock type in up here standard now it covers all stocks pretty much around the world so you have to make sure you're selecting the right stock standard charted lsc so click that and again it launches that price for standard charted now how do i add uh, indicators so you can see here it's in units you can do daily units uh weekly monthly you know that means each candle represents either a day a week or a month so just click up here you can see indicators and just click on that and a full list of indicators come up so let's start with moving averages to so scroll down there's many an indicator here so uh i've got moving average on price that's what i want so i click that and click add now straight away it adds a 20 as default i like 20 i don't like the dotted line or the colors there so i'm going to change this to uh, click here for color i like a green color here it selects it click ok and there we are i don't like a dotted line i like a, a solid line there and uh, that's that then so if you want to add another, another indicator just click here and it'll, it'll do the previous ones you've just used here. So I want to add another moving average. This time uh, I'm going to put a 50 day in. So I come over to this setting here and scroll up there and add the 50. I like a 50 in blue. I like my colors. Uh, so I'll click blue here. OK. Again, I don't like a dotted line, I like a solid line. You can alter the, the width of the line here as well. So that's 50 there. Now I want to add another one. So I'll add another moving average. This I like is the one two five. Um, so I can just type in here if it's too f too much to uh, to scroll up. Type there, and it adds it there. Click, click away from there, and I like this in a nice purple color. I think or well, pinky sort of color there. So I go here, click OK, and I find the the longer the moving average, the the more thickness I want to give it. So I I, I give it the, that thickness, and I add one more, which is the classic two hundred day, and on a, on a, on a on a basic charting uh, premise, people say if the price is above the 200-day moving average, it's bullish. And I like to put this in red because I think it's a very important color, very important sort of uh, moving average. Is that red here? Yes. Uh, let's, let's come here. That's better. Okay. Uh, nice thickness, solid line. And that's that. So I now have, I can click that away. I now have um, four sort of uh, moving averages. As you can see with, uh, what are we on, standard charted? Is this daily? Yes. As you can see there, scroll in. You can scroll in by using the trackpad on my, on my Mac I'm using. And uh, I can see there we've broken the 20-day moving average. I don't like that moving average. I, I, I want a bit more thickness in the, in the color there. So uh, let's go to uh, moving average again. So you click the little, um, you know, spanner symbol there. Click on the one you're looking at, 20. And I want a darker green. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, that's better. Nice darker green there. Oh, maybe that's too dark. Bit fussy there. Uh, yeah, that's okay. 
So there we are. I'm just clicking to close. And so we got there. Like I said, the, the price is broken 20 day moving average. It's broken 50 day. Uh, they've crossed there, which is quite a bullish sign. Uh, they're coming down a bit now in the downtrend, though, and the price is just below the 50 day moving average and the 20 day. So, uh, listen, to find out where support and resistance is here, you can either do this this is straight support and resistance, click this button, and it'll see it put a line in for you. That's uh, support there at that level, 385. Or you can take that off and put, and you can hover your cursor over this. So, uh, channels, oblique channels. So, look, it'll put in for you. Look at the rising channel here. So support, support. It's at support now. So you bounced off that. This is resistance levels, the lines here. And these are further up as well, resistance levels. So it puts these lines in for you. Uh, if you find that a bit messy, then of course, you can just click the button here and take it off again. Let's add some more uh, indicators. So uh, what I want now is uh, relative strength and MACD, which I always look at. So MACD is there. Add. And straight away, it puts it in. And what I like about this MACD is that um, it gives you green for when the lines uh, diverge and it's going to uptrend, and red for when they, uh, you know, they've converged there and going down. And so the naught line is there, very important line. And if you want to make that less, you know, take up less space, you can just bring it down here. And if you want to adjust anything on it, you just click here, and it does it for you. So that's nice there. And uh, you can. Um, yeah, adjust anything along here if you want, and uh, it's simple here. So I want to add one more. So while this is up, this indicator, I have the relative strength here. So scroll down, and uh, in fact, let's click that. If you can't find it there, then just go to this one, relative strength, and here we go, relative strength, RSI, that's what I want, add. And what I like about this as well is you can um, uptrend, you can change to a nice green color, okay. And uh, unlink that because I want the downtrend to be in a red color. And uh, OK. And then we have the relative strength there. So we have the three lines there. And it also gives you trend lines on this. If you want, you can take that off by just uh, clicking here. Because I'm pretty new at this, but I'm, I'm messing around with it. So uh, that's a, a basic tuition on, like, so, and, uh, you know, if you want the, like, the price action. And you can save this setting. Just go File, Save, and it'll save it for you. And then anytime you make an adjustment, when you reload, um, you know, the software, it'll uh, it'll save it, reload it as you've saved it. So I'll, I'll click that there again, save. And there it does. So we can see a nice rising trend in the in the relative strength, dipping down there, dipped up again. And now it's getting higher and higher, so the strength is building. There's a little uh, roll over on the MACD, so we expect a bit more sort of, uh, you know, uh, weakness maybe. But you can see the last bit of relative strength is green and just building up towards, really be towards, over the 50 line, which would be quite nice. So I hope that helps. It's a very simple, basic way to set up uh, Pro Real Time, which, uh, like I said, a lot of professionals use. There's so many things involved in it. I'll go through other things later, but I think that's it for the basic level. And like I said, I'm at a basic level. So as I learn, I'll share more videos with you. Hope that helps.